Hi YouTube and welcome back to my channel, Slightly Carnivorish. This is Danielle. Today I wanted to touch base with everyone again. Um, I had mentioned in my last video that uh, there's been some slight changes to how we're eating and we're eating more pork um, and fat than we are protein. So today I kind of wanted to discuss, it's been almost three weeks, um, and I am noticing differences. It sounds crazy, um, but so that's what I kind of wanted to discuss today um, was the changes that I'm feeling or noticing um, from a super high protein diet, um, carnivore way of eating to a more higher fat way of eating on carnivore. Um, neither one is wrong. Uh, as we see, everyone's doing a different way. Um, so we got to find what's best for us. So like I said, it's not only a increase in the pork that we're eating, um, it's an increase in fat. So that's butter, um, heavy cream, everything. Um, I What I've been doing is starting my day. Um, if you watch my shorts, uh, I do beef broth and butter. I've been using um, the grass-fed, grass-finished butter, and it is amazing in the uh, beef broth. I don't do bone broth, that's my husband, um, but I do really like the beef broth in the morning. Um, it's very satisfying. I, I, I'm very surprised with that because I was definitely a coffee every morning or don't talk to me kind of person. And I have found that I feel like I'm settling on the days that I have coffee. I, I still do. Um, I have been. I, I cut out tea completely. Um, I'll end up doing another what I eat in a day video just so you guys can see again. Um, but what I've been doing is um, on the days I run out of beef broth, I have instant coffee with heavy cream and just a tiniest amount of vanilla. And that's for flavor. Um, and I'm surprised that I, I do like it without having to add sweetener or anything. I'm impressed with myself, so baby steps. And then as I said, we've been doing pork belly instead of steaks. Um, I actually haven't had a steak in a while. Um, so we've been doing one burger with a tablespoon of butter on top. With um, Last night I had five pieces of pork belly. Um, they were thinner pieces. So, you know, I, I'm still, I haven't got a food scale yet. I'm still working on that, but, um, just to measure the amount that I'm eating. But then at the same time, I'm not really worried about that either because I've just been doing like the eat until I'm full thing, you know? So I'm still, um, I'm finding that I'm not as hungry throughout the day. And if I have been, um, three slices of cheese. And when I say three, literally three slices of cheese in the afternoon. And that's holding me over until dinner. And I'm quite impressed with that too. Um, so it's the small things I'm noticing. My, my hunger level, my satiation. I feel like I'm fuller than I was when we were eating the high protein, um, even with the amount of food I was eating. So I'm, I'm wondering if the, the high fat is the way to go. So we're gonna have to stay tuned. I'm, I'm gonna keep going on this journey because I like how I'm feeling. Um, so I don't feel like it's a bad thing to keep going the way I'm going. I also wanted to take into account, um, I had caught a video the other day and uh, it was, is there such thing as too much red meat? And that made me think as well, um, because we were eating a lot of red meat. Um, everything we were eating was red meat. I'm like, okay, so the variety of it, because the carnivore is still, still so new, um, animal-based, you know, that it's, it's individualized. And I don't feel like there's one program fits all type thing. I feel like you kind of find your, your niche and then you fit in and then your body tells you what feels good or what tastes good. Um, I feel like there's no right or wrong way. Um, one thing that's super off topic, but I did want to touch on, um, my feet are doing better. Um, I don't know. I did, I did do a lot of complaining about that, but that is one thing I did notice 
is my feet have taken a positive turn. Um, I'm still, I've still got the spots and everything. However, it is not as painful. Um, so I will take that. Uh, baby steps, like I said earlier. It, it's the small things I'm noticing. And I'm like, okay, I like that. Um, I've also noticed even though my hair hasn't grown in length, um, the thickness or that it's not breaking so much, I, I am super appreciating right now because I've got, got a little bit of volume to it, you know, and I'm, I'm digging that. So everything has been on the up and up. I know my husband has nothing but positive things to say, although he's a little under the weather today. Um, let me know how you guys are doing too this winter, carnivores, because uh, my husband is more strict than I am. Have you gotten sick this winter at all? This is our first year through um, on the carnivore way of eating. So I was just wondering, leave a comment, let me know. Um, how are you eating? Uh, are you incorporating more fat? Um, how are you with dairy? That's another one that I'm still kind of iffy about. Um, we do cheese, but I haven't done any raw dairy. Um, and heavy cream, I do heavy cream. And my cream cheese. But that, that that's it, that's it. Um, except for when we do the chicken wing dip and then it's an assortment of cheese, but you know, that's, that's indulging. So let me know, um, how, how is your journey going, your way of eating? Um, March 12th is right around the corner. And I know that I didn't step on the scale before I made this video. I will, and I will update it. However, clothes are fitting me a little bit different, but I'm going to take that and I'm going to smile about it because it's, a small accomplishment and I appreciate myself for that. So again, like, comment, subscribe, and everyone have a great day.